Hi guys, Christine Nelly here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Nord Corblum Prime Essence. Now this is by the brand Touch and Soul. I love their original No Pore Bone Primer, the smooth and pore covering um, top secret pore for perfect makeup. It is the best primer I've ever applied on my face. It's so good. It just like makes your face look flawless with the foundation. It's amazing. But now they came out with the Prime Essence. And let me see if I can read this right. Calendula officinalis Flower Extract. I gotta Google that. Um, so what it basically says is um, Prime Essence infused with Calendula officinalis, I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, flower extract, tightens up pores and keeps the skin, skin silky smooth for better and long lasting makeup. How to use. At the last step of skincare, which I just did, apply a moderate amount and gently pat over the skin until it is fully absorbed. Caution, keep out of reach of sh children. Don't let your kids swallow the shit. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and use the No Problem Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. I love Touch and Soul. I hope this does not um, let me down. It's so cute. Anyways, so let's get onto it. So I have the tube. Sorry if I'm just rushing ahead. Um, I just wanna get this video done because my kids are awake and I don't want them hearing me because then they're gonna start knocking on the door so you know how it is. So this is a cute tube. I love it. It's so cute. So what I'm gonna do is apply a generous amount to my face. So I washed my face, I um, used my face wash and moisturizer, and I'm gonna go ahead and I pat it dry and I'm gonna go ahead and use the primer. So what I'll do is usually put it on the spots where I am very like oily. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, I put too much. Uh, forehead, oh, come on. I don't wanna squeeze it because a lot comes out. You can just tip it down and the product just comes out by itself. Oh, come on. Okay, so now I applied it. Oh, a tip also. Um, when you buy this product, the serum kind of tends to like go down when it's like a little bit like not tight. So if you like loosen up a little bit, it's gonna come out. So when you do cap this, make sure you cap it really tight. And if you want to save your product, um, don't put it like this. Try to put it in your makeup van or your vanity and just put it upwards so that we can save the that we can save the product. So let's go ahead and move this around. Uh, it says to pat dry. I know I'm not doing that right now, but I'm just gonna um, move it around. That way I can cover. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> that way I can cover the areas. I get super oily and now I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm gonna just generally pat my whole face so you're gonna keep patting it until it's dry and I washed this I'm pretty sure I should have used like a super clean one so you can see like the result the uh, so you can see like good results but hopefully this will work I notice it pats uh, it, it goes on better if you do actually use your hands um just go ahead and pat your whole face so that way you can get into the creases of like your eyes your nose it just feels better with your fingers and as you can see it's looking stunning like pores wear pores wear but it does tickle like over here when I pat my un under my eyes. I don't know why I like my tickly spot. It's just weird. Ow. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my flesh foundation. I hope since it's a cream, um, a stick, I don't want it to like move the primer a lot. So what I'm gonna do is try to see if I can rub it on my beauty blender. I don't think anybody does this. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first one to do it. Pray for me. Oh, oh my gosh. Foundation in my nails. Hate that. I hate that. Anyways, let's see if it works. If it works, I'm gonna start doing that because I hate smudging the stick around because it just feels weird. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. I'm gonna start with my um, chin to see how it looks for now. If I don't like how it looks, then I'm just gonna go ahead and move onto the it foundation that i have you already know um 
it is not my shade. I have to change my shade color. Hmm. Not bad though. It's not bad. It's not bad though. I'm gonna see. Maybe I can mix. Maybe I can mix. So I'll go ahead and pop some here. And it's gonna take forever, so I'm gonna be right back. Do you guys see my face right now? <laughs> it is not my shade. This is probably the lightest shade I've ever had. This is like my winter shade. I think that's what's that's what's happening. I gotta go to the store and look for my new shade. It is that time. But yeah, I went to um, the It Foundation because the cream one was taking too long to like dab onto my face and I am a very impatient woman and I hate waiting so yeah keep on pounding my face now usually I don't apply a heavy amount of foundation because I don't like full coverage um mainly because maybe I don't have like maybe up for me I feel like I don't have discoloration or a lot of um pimples but Uh, what's it called? Where was I? Oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, so I don't like going full coverage, but I'm going to try to do a full coverage look today. Hopefully, if my foundation lets me, because it's being a dude right now. It's being very, very annoying. But yeah. Oh yeah, so I used my Flesh Stick Foundation under my eyes as a concealer because it is... It says it's supposed to act like a concealer mixed with foundation as well. So yeah, so I'm doing it. And it actually works. So I really love it. I'm going to start using flesh as concealer now. But yeah, as you can tell, my face is yellow. I'm yellow. This is not my color. Not my color. But you know what? We're just going to work with it because... I don't compare myself, okay? I don't have money to go to the store and get my summertime shade. This girl's broke. This girl is broke. Let's see how it looks. Yay, it doesn't match my ears. Look how pink my ears is compared to my face. We're gonna let it oxidize and hope for the best. If not, then look at this. That's definitely my, not my color. Like, what the? It's funny how one little thing just like irritates me a little bit anyways i guess it's not that bad i mean i should get my new shade but um okay final review i guess um what do i gotta say about this primer mm, i mean i can't really really tell to be honest because i feel like it's the same as the uh nor pore blum primer the original one it does what it does it's like but I feel like it's gonna make, oh, this is what I hate so much. You see that dot? How can I miss that? Goodness. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Like all over the place. Yeah, I feel like it does a trick. It does keeps doing its thing, like Touch and Soul. Like, I love you guys. I'm gonna start looking into Touch and Soul products and seeing what they have. Cause man, well, if I get paid enough. Um, yeah, so this, I highly recommend. I mean, if you don't like the, if you don't like this, okay, this is perfect. If you don't like the sticky, like, feeling of thick primer, like this, and if you don't like that feeling that it's like covering your face, you can't like feel like you can't breathe. Um, it doesn't feel like that to me at all whatsoever. I feel like it's still airy, I still feel my face. I feel like nothing's there. Um. But this one's supposed to be for oil control, mostly for oil control. So for me, like if I use um, um, gel moisturizers, it's 100% better than the cream ones because for me, the cream um, counteracts with my face. I just get dry and all that stuff. It's just I'm like super duper. No, I don't get dry. It's super duper oily. It's that bad. So for the No Pore Blum um, Essence, I think it's more better for my skin because my skin is super duper oily, especially here my nose and over here is always 100% oily but to be honest this is this is the best too like touch and soul oh, you keep doing it man 
I can't wait to keep um blah, blah, blah. I can't wait to use um more of your products so hopefully I get to get my hands on it anyways thank you guys so much for watching my video I'm trying not to make it super long when I review videos hopefully is it, it is to your liking and I will see you guys in another video I'm not gonna edit I'm horrible at editing so it is what it is goodbye guys see you guys in the next video be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel and hopefully um I can do more videos for you guys thank you guys oh my gosh thank you guys so much for watching